gorgeous spring day here in Central Ohio. Finally, I think the I think winter's gonna break and uh, hopefully spring will be coming in. We got a pretty healthy wind coming out of the southwest. Anyways, no worries. I actually moved the uh, six hour. This is a Romeo 7 2 MOA red dot onto my Browning buck mark. It's got the Volquartz and barrel. Well, of course, it doesn't make these barrels anymore. This is an awesome uh, 12 inch. This is the THM. Uh, it's a carbon fiber uh, wrap barrel. Anyways, I'm shooting uh, various uh, 20 ammunition. I've got some Wolf Match Target. Man, this stuff's awfully dirty, but it shoots pretty nicely. And I think I got some old uh, Winchester uh, hollow points and also got some Remington uh, Golden Bullets. Anyways, I've got my uh, little groundhog target set up at 27 yards. You know, when I used to shoot a lot of archery, tall skinny targets were always my nemesis. And probably not just mine, but a lot of other archers. If you want to get better at whether you're shooting archery or, or pistols or whatever, shoot tall skinny targets. They will identify any left or right issues you may have. So anyways, uh, let's see how the uh, Romeo 7 does on the uh, target. Here we go. Alright, not too bad. Looks like I gotta raise my elevation up a little bit. Alright, I got the uh, elevation raised up on my uh, Sig Sauer Romeo 7. Let's try another magazine. Yeah, that's a lot better. Alright, let's see how these uh, Remington these are the uh, golden bullets. I think these are 38 grain hollow point high velocities. Hey, you can definitely tell the difference on the velocities. Yeah, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but you see the red dot? It's a, actually a pretty fine red dot, two minutes of angle. That's what I really love about the six hour Romeo 7. Yeah, that's what I love shooting 22 pistols. Relatively cheap compared to like, let's say a 380 or nine millimeter or 45 ACP. You know, right now, 20 ammunition is a lot more readily available. You know, you can learn all the basics of pistol marksmanship. You know, as far as trigger control, trigger grip, follow through. All, all, all the things that you all need to know. All right, let's shoot another round here. Alright folks, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm actually shooting on the side of this hill on, at the edge of this pond. And a lot of times, you know, you all know me, I'm a hunter first and foremost, and then just a casual target plinker second. And you got to learn how to adapt, shoot at different conditions. You know, you, you can't always get the perfect flat stance on level ground when you're out hunting. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll shoot some more rounds here. Got the Wolf 22 match target ammo. Pretty nice. All right, folks, you can see the uh, six hour Romeo 7 on my 22 Browning Buckmark. Actually, one thing different from what I had it on my uh, Stag Arms Stag 9 is that I took the uh, QD mount off. It actually comes with two different mounts and it just got it lowered to the uh, center line of the uh, pistol. It's an awesome red dot side. It may look big on it, but actually it balances nicely. And you can't beat a good 30 millimeter tube. This has the uh, I've got an Energizer lithium AA battery, good for 62,000 hours. Pretty awesome. Pretty happy with the red dot so far. All right, let's continue shooting.
pretty good. Not that I do it often. You know, I thought, hey, you know, it'd be kind of fun. Let's try to shoot one hand and see how well I can do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it definitely takes practice, that's for sure. All right, folks, let's try to shoot a little bit faster, a little bit more controlled, fast shots here. All right. All right, folks, last six bullets. Here we go. I'm going to try to go for all headshots. Six. That ain't too bad. Alright folks, it's Nito with AP2020 Outdoors. Hope you all, all enjoyed the quick video this morning of the 6 hour Romeo 7 on my Browning Buckmark. Pretty awesome red dot. You know, like I said, it may look big, but it's pr probably it's not really that bad. I mean, it balances awesome, you know. And I'm really loving that fine 2 MOA red dot. That is very precise. Maybe I'll, uh, Maybe I'll put it on another uh, 22 rifle and shoot it out at long range. Remember, support our Second Amendment rights. We'll see you all later.